one's hard. Boy. Oh, that's tough, man. Favorite video part of all time. It's really tough. A lot of like things come to mind, but I think I would just have to go with like the 1201 video in general, like as a whole, because it was like it was more of like a montage and just like and really like influenced. It's like just a, a generation that. Um, I was really influenced by and uh, so just seeing all that like trail riding and street riding just like mixed in together and it just like all the music it just really like kind of like put me in a cer on a certain path so I think I know it's not a video part but I think I just have to say 1201 as a whole. Aiken, why do I got there for me? <laughs> Harrington and Insert. Probably talk, talk is Cheap is one of the first videos that I seen that was like kind of got my attention for sure. I was like around the same time that I started writing. I'd probably have to say anything Garrett Burns, but criminal mischief. Woo! Pick a part. We got an old soul over here. Yeah, no, well, no, actually Garrett Burns Seek and Destroy. That's the best one. My Brian Number Eagle's nine. Anthem part. Yeah, that's one of my top for sure. That's a really good video part. Off the top of my head, it's going to have to be Talk is Cheap. What part though? Section. Oh, what part? Dakota, because that's on. That was. I think that was the first video I ever saw. Taj Mahalich in the UGP video, riding to Black Sabbath. Hell yeah. Circa, I don't know what year. That 2000 AD, or 1996 or something? 97? The yeah, UGP video? Yeah. Probably later than that. Yeah, I don't know. That was off the top of my head. Too many video parts. They're all good. Dave Young, Nowhere Fast, definitely. Really raw, like, street when it wasn't that, you know, like, kind of first introduction to, like, I don't know, like, a, a messy kind of dude, but just, like, crashing, but still doing all the crazy shit, and just kind of, you know, something different than what it, your normal rider then, so that stoked me. I'd probably say, like, Chase D Hard, Talk is Cheap. Yeah, that's the one, for sure. Shout out to Chase D-Hart. Probably Devin's E-Claw video from like 2016. I probably watched that thing like a hundred times. Probably that video. Or Nathan's Champagne part. This is going to sound ridiculous, but Nathan Williams part from Champagne that we just put out. That uh, that one's like super special to King. There's been so many throughout the years. I would rather think of someone old, something older, but Nathan's Champagne part was like really special. Doyle! Doyle, why do I nightmare? My recent one, and I'm going to interject, is Maddie Ratty's part. <laughs> that latest RBMX. I can't Honestly, say my own story. <laughs> what is my video favorite part? video part of all time? You know? Yeah. Garrett Burns, Criminal Mischief. Yeah. I was going to say that too, man. That's just... <laughs> that TSOL section? Yeah. Woo! That's just... it. It's got such nostalgic feels for me, and there's actually a clip where he's riding some dirt jumps as a does a turn down on a dirt quarter pipe. It's like a dirt quarter pipe spine. Those are the trails I grew up riding. They were like 20 seconds down the street from my house. So that has like a real, I wasn't there during that session. I was a little too young to know who Little Devil was, but I was 14, like on the cusp. But yeah, so Criminal Mischief, uh, Gary Burns. Dennis Anderson. Dennis, which yeah. one? Maybe, uh, I don't, is 2000. 16. Dennis Henderson's last chance, no question. But Mutiny Let's Get Mystical is my favorite full length. I would have to say Taj in Face Value because of the A it's Taj. B it's that time period is cool for me. Yeah. But dude, that's a hard one to be quite honest. That's a near impossible answer. Yeah. Yeah, that is a tough one. Probably two or two or three parts from the standard domination, ground shot, twin jab. You know, yeah. th those ones were like Legendary, you yeah. know, for in my brain, and then even before that, uh, anthem, like the first oh, anthem, yeah. there were like, you know, probably one of the first times I was like really, really shocked, you know, yeah, you know, that's to, to a good stuff. One. Yeah. anthem for sure. That's that's amazing. Forward's my favorite video, and so probably Ruben's part in Forward is uh, the one I probably watched the most, uh, even though I kind of watched the whole video a lot. But uh, yeah, Ruben's part is like probably the most impactful, like between writing, music, filming, editing. The whole thing helped inspire me to do more of that stuff later on. So, yeah. well, my favorite video from like starting writing was "This Is United." That was a good influential part for me. My, mine's or props video. when he was on it. 
I gotta, I'm gonna have to go with Deadline, you know. I've been thinking about it for like 20 minutes now, and it holds up, and it will forever hold up. So, there. Every time I go and watch Deadline, I'll be like, "There's a bunch of tricks I will never do, or every trick I will never do." Probably. But I like that, you know. This sounds lame, but it's actually I, I'm very proud of my part in the movie Ride On. And it's a, a lot of the curb street stuff that nobody had ever ever thought of before, like a nolly off a curb to a manual, and a 360 on to a, a curb platform, and 360 off without the front wheel touch. And, and guys are doing that obviously today, and I think it was fucking cool. You know? Sounds selfish, but <laughs> if anyone's allowed to say their own part, it's you. <laughs> Salute, my friend. What about yours? It was good. You're not getting out of this. No, uh, I don't. Eh. Anything that Mark Eaton did with any of the Dorkin videos. So all the Dorkin and Yorks, every like the whole video is a general part. answer number six. <laughs> Dude, I keep it real like uh, PC with all the homies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all you guys, these answers for all you guys out there. All right. I'm thinking of every one of you, even if I don't mention you. Just want to let you know that right there. <laughs> A man for the people. That was very general again. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Fuck yeah. Thanks, awesome. Brant. I, I think I'm still going to go with uh, Chris Bennett's part in the original Demolition video. I don't know. Something about it. The song, the whole vibe, the whole thing. I think BMX is, is awesomer now than it was back then, but it was still great back then. So, like, you know, anything that can bring you back to a good time when you're still having one, like today, is sick. That's a tough one. I don't subscribe to favorites because why narrow it down? Um, but hugely impressionable video parts to me. Wow, I'm, I'm absolutely stumped on that. Like nothing even jumps to the front of my brain. Honestly, it would have to be like an OG scum video. Um, and just anything that was Wilbur Street back in the day was like hugely impressionable to me. And then later on, right on, like trying to adapt a lot of that kind of throwback street riding to the way I rode street, you know, in the early 2000s. And when I ask Stu about Wilbur and that, you know, what's up with that guy? And just getting an update, like that was a dude pedal grinds and sprocket grinds. But he's the reason I learned him, and, you know, and that became a huge foundation to the way I rode street. So. Keith Trainer's part in Dirty Deeds. I will hold true to that. Tectonic plates. <laughs> I forgot!